Kids Church Online, where we do church together as a family. And it's going to be great because everything today is great. We are starting our new series on the Great Commandment and the Great Commission. It's going to be great, great, great. Today, we look at the first part of the Great Commandment, Love God. So great. So let's call for a taxi for a great ride with prayer, memory verse, and of course, some silly stuff. Enjoy! My name's Tim, but everyone calls me Tiny. You might be wondering, is this my side job? No, this is my dream job. I always wanted to drive a taxi, helping people get to where they need to go and just drive, drive, drive. Hey, do you want to come with me? Come on, you can hop in as I go get my next customer. Come on. Welcome to my taxi. Ah, there's nothing like the feel of the morning drive, listening to the hum of the motor on a full tank of gas and playing find the customer. <laughs> That's my life. I do make a game of trying to find the customer because they don't always give me the right directions. And I usually find them pretty quick. Oh, and here's my first customer of the day. Good morning, ma'am. Where would you like me to take you? Good morning. I need to be at work in five minutes right across town. Can you make it? I'll sure try. I know all the quickest ways to get around. Let's go. Looks like a great car. How far will it take you on a full tank? Oh, I'm on the road all day, every day. So I fill her up once a day and she's good to go. Oh, this must be the best job ever. Oh, I sure love it. Well, it's the kind of job that'll never let you forget how you need God. How's that now? Well, the way I see it, you can't go anywhere without gas. And driving all day every day, you need to stop for gas all the time. Well, yes I do. And if you don't, you'll run out and can't do anything or go anywhere. Oh, ain't that the truth. Oh no! I'm so sorry, sir! We're all out of gas! Well, this is like your reminder that you need to go to God all the time for what you need to be able to walk in love. You're right! If I don't stop and spend time with God, filling up on His love, I won't have what I need to love God and others. I'll be all dried up. Wow, I want to love God in everything I do. Oh, right here, turn here. Perfect. Oh, you are such a good driver getting me here on time. Thank you. Thanks, anytime. Hmm, isn't that something? I've never thought of it that way before. Every time I stop for gas now, it's going to make me think how I need to go to God again and again. I depend on gas for every kilometer of the road, and I depend on God for every step that I take so that I can love God in everything I do. I'm sure glad I got to pick up that customer. And here's my next customer. I remember him. G'day, sir. Need a lift? Oh, no, not you again. Before I get into this ride, you have to tell me, how much gas do you have? Oh, <laughs> good question. Hey, I'm right full today. Fill it up at the start of every day. Well, I guess you learned your lesson from last time. <laughs> Come on in. Sure did. I'm very sorry about that. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, sir. We're all out of gas. This isn't even close to the mall. This has never happened before. I don't know what happened. We're just empty. I didn't even bring my winter boots. Oh, I'm so sorry. Look oh. at this. Even my water's frozen. It's so cold. I'll never forget that time. 
I always want to make sure I fill up on gas so that I never run out. I love to drive, but it's the worst feeling when you're stuck and you can't go anywhere. And it's just like how I want to stop and fill up on God's love every day too. Otherwise, I dry up and I won't have what I need to love God and others. And I want to love God in everything I do. What? Fill up on God? Yeah. Hey, where am I taking you? Well, you can take me to the mall. But are you sure you have enough gas to get me there? Oh, yes. Not to worry. Sometimes it's a long drive, but I always come prepared now. And I know where all the gas stations are along the way. So I can always stop in case I need to top it off. Just like I know to stop and take time with Jesus every day so I can love God in everything I do. Well, I brought my boots in case I had to walk. Well. You won't be needing those boots today because we're almost there. Phew, this was the first time I got into a taxi since that terrible day we ran out of gas. When I saw you again, it made me nervous that we would run out of gas again. The tank is full and we made it here safe and sound. I learned my lesson well. And anytime you need a ride, feel free to give me a call. You won't even need your boots. Well, thanks so much. Good luck with your next customer. That guy was sure nervous from the last time I picked him up, and I don't blame him one bit. That was an awful time to be stuck in the middle of nowhere with no gas. And worse than that would be if I stopped going to God to be filled with his love, because I want to love God in everything I do. Hi, I'm Vanessa, and we are in the Bible Pray and Do Treehouse. Today, we're going to talk about how we want to love God in everything we do. And to do that, we need to be filled with His love. The Bible tells us to love God with everything we've got. Heart, soul, mind. Jesus taught us that in the book of Matthew. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. Matthew 22, verse 37. You might wonder, how can we love God? We can't even hug Him. So how do we show love to God? One of the most important ways that we can show God that we love Him is by obeying Him. For our family fun activity, you guys can pick one way that you can obey God and then put it in a container. Then pick one and think of a way that you can do an obedience step with that one. Here's a family doing it so you can see how. This one says, Obey parents. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, for an extra step of obedience, you guys can dust the living room. you guys can try that activity together as a family. We're going to put some ideas up on the screen for you to take a look. And feel free to add your own. Pause if you need more time to play. We want to love God in everything we do, every day. So let's keep on obeying Him. How about we ask Him to help us? You can repeat after me. Thank you, Jesus, that you love me. I love you too. Help me to obey. I want to follow you my whole life. Amen. Let's try the verse again. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. Matthew 22 verse 37. We'll be back later to do another family fun activity and to learn another way to love God. I'm just gassing up, needing my fuel for the day. I remember what my first customer said about needing to fill up. 
on God's love too. Now, you might wonder about our memory verse being, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. Matthew 22, 37. That verse is about loving God, not about being filled up on God's love. But actually, just like I can't go anywhere without first being filled up on some gasoline, I also can't do anything of any good without first being filled up with God's love. There's no way I can love God or anybody else unless I first fill up on God's love. I need Him to do anything good. And I want to love God in everything I do. Okay, quick top it off and we're ready to go. Why don't you come with me? Let's go get our next customer. Come on. Tiny Tim at your service. Welcome to my taxi. Sometimes when I'm driving, I like to listen to music. Lift you higher, lift you higher. Or other times, I like to just enjoy the quiet. <sighs> oh no, not this guy. He's always in such a hurry and always pushes me to speed. I don't want to speed because that would be breaking God's law. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. G'day, sir. Uh, where where can I take you today? Hurry, hurry. You got to get me to the store quick. There's a big sale on. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, yeah, C come on in. I, I know the fastest routes. I'll get you there as quick as I can. Drive faster. Step on it. I, I'm going the speed limit. I'll get you there in a jiffy. Oh, you can do better than that. I'll give you an extra 50 if you go faster. Hmm, that is tempting. Extra money just to go a little faster? Plus this guy will stop bugging me? Hmm, really tempting. Come on, man, quit driving like a grandma and give her! <sighs> Love the Lord your God. That means to obey Him. Keep your money, friend. I'm following the law and loving God in everything I do, instead of your tempting offer of 50 bucks. Well, you're no friend of mine. I'm going to miss out on all the good stuff at the sales. They'll be out of stock by the time I finally get there. I'll be old and gray by the time... Nope! No gray hairs on you yet! And you're here! <sighs> Oh, certainly no tips or bonuses there. That's okay. The most important thing to me is to love God and obey Him in everything I do. That's the first and greatest commandment. I'm sure glad I spent time filling up on God's love this morning that reminded me of that verse. Otherwise, I probably would have fallen for His offer. It's so important to keep coming to Jesus and being filled with His love so we can love Him back and obey. Oh, hey! Another customer for me. Taxi, taxi. Hey, can you take me to church? For sure, let's go. Thanks, man. Hey, are you the Love God taxi driver? The what? Yeah, I've heard of people talking about this guy who loves God and fills up his tank on gas and on Jesus every day. Oh, wow. Well, I guess that's me. That's great. You want to know what one of my favorite ways to love God is? What's that? To praise and thank him. Crank up the tunes, man. You are, you are, you are my freedom. We lift you higher, lift you higher. Your love, your love, your love never ending. Oh, oh, oh. You are alive in us. Nothing can take your place. You are all we need. Your love has sent. Thanks for the ride, man. I want you to drive me every day. Let me tell you, loving God by praising Him is one of my favorite ways to love God too. Keep loving Jesus. Always. Oh man, that was a great customer to have. I feel even more filled up on God's love. Like a full tank of gas. <laughs> and. Wow, I didn't know people were calling me the Love God Taxi Driver. I kind of like that. 
because I want to love God in everything I do. And I think it's time to fill up on gas. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. Matthew 22 verse 37. Well, we found another way to love God as we followed the love God taxi driver. When we praise and thank Jesus, we are loving God. This is a perfect time for another family fun activity. What you're gonna do is look around the room and pick an item to be thankful for. I'm gonna go and say this lamp. Once you have that item, think of something else that starts with the same letter. Lamp and laughter. I'm thankful for laughter. Let's watch this family play. Thank you, Jesus, for pillows and parties, tables, and toys. Thank you, Jesus, for kids and kisses. <laughs> It's always fun loving Jesus together as a family. Sometimes our quiet time with Jesus is calm, like when dad reads the Bible before bedtime. The Lord is my rock, my fortress. Or when mom prays with us. Today and that they would have a great day at school. Amen. And sometimes it can be all kinds of fun energy too. We can love God in all sorts of ways, with our heart, with our soul, with our mind, in everything. Do you think you know the verse pretty good yet? Let's try it. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. Matthew 22, verse 37. Thank you, Jesus, for fun times with you. We love you so much. Help us as a family to fill up together on your love and to love you more in everything that we do. Amen. Thanks for praying with me. Love God here. Love God here. Whoa. Love God here. Hey, Alejandro, what are you doing? Yeah, why are you covered in all these stickers that say love God? Oh, well guys, our new memory verse is this. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, Matthew 22, 37. So look at me. Right, but why are you putting love God all over yourself? Well, I started with putting one on my heart and my head to remember to love God with all my heart and all my mind. Oh, like the memory verse. Yeah, but then I thought, I want to love God with not just my heart and my mind, but my everything, my legs, my hands, even my mouth. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. Maybe I should put stickers on me too. Oh, well, there's nothing wrong with that, but instead you can love God with, uh, I don't know, your legs by meeting with other Christians or going to church. Oh, love God with my legs. And you can love God with your hands by doing what God wants you to, like helping others. Oh, hey, let me help you. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. Come over here. Oh, yes. And you can love God with your mouth by using your words to thank and praise Jesus. Jesus, you're my superhero, my your best, best friend. friend. Ah. Right. Oh, yeah, that's an even better idea. And I can get rid of these stickers, too. Ow! Oh, ah, no. I, you know, I think I'm going to stick to loving God with stickers for now, too. Oh, yeah, well, guys, thanks for joining us on AOK's -OK Adventure. And remember, Let's love God with all our hearts and all our mind and our everything. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, hey there.
here, friends. It's Tiny, the taxi driver. Although I guess some are calling me the love god taxi driver. You know, I was just thinking, the most important, the greatest thing you can do today is love God. Do you ever think about that? You could be a teacher shaping young minds. Or a wealthy businessman, richest in the world. Or a famous movie star. Or a parent taking care of a baby. Or a doctor saving lives. Or a king ruling the world. And yet, the most important thing you will ever do today, or any day, is to love God. Well, my taxi's all gassed up again, and as you can tell, I've been spending time with Jesus again this morning, because I got loving Jesus on my mind. Let's go get another customer. Come on. Time for a drive, drive, drive. All right, time to find that next customer. Hey, my favorite song's on. Oh, hey, I think I'm on the next block for our customer because there she is. Top of the morning to you, laddie. Hello, ma'am. Where can I drive you today? Oh, thank you so much for stopping for me. I need to be working today at me ice cream stand, which is on... Oh, the famous Mrs. Love's ice cream stand. <laughs> you must be an amazing driver to guess it so quickly. And you are certainly Mrs. Love herself. I've heard so much about you. So glad to finally meet you. And I be guessing that you be the love good taxi driver. Wow. I didn't realize so many people were calling me that. Well, you're the guy who fills up on gas every day and also fills up on God's love so that you can love God in everything you do. And what I've heard about Mrs. Love is that you put love into everything you do. I certainly cannot do that without filling up on God's love either. Well, I'm definitely going to be stopping by for some ice cream sometime on my lunch break. Here's a coupon for you for a free Sunday treat with all the fixings. Thank you, thank you for the ride. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks, Mrs. Love. Keep loving Jesus. Always. Whoa, that's a big tip. Extra bonus tip and a free Sunday coupon. Oh, I look forward to that ice cream treat. Maybe I'll stop by next week next week on KCO. That lady is so generous. I want to love God in everything I do. And you know what? For that, I need Jesus. Thanks for joining us at KCO. I hope you had fun. If you didn't get a chance to enter our draw for our big KCO family prize, you can email us at kidschurch at mysouthland.com. When you do, you can let us know which country or province you're from so we can also add a pin on our map. Let's keep loving God by obeying and praising Him because that's the greatest. Just like our memory verse says in Matthew 22, 37, keep loving Jesus in everything you do. We'll be back again next week with more great things on Kids Church Online. A lot of people ask me, Tiny, what's one of your biggest comforts in taxi driving? And I often tell them, it's my earbags. They keep my ears snug as a bug in a rug. I'm sure glad I spent time filling up on God's love this morning. Otherwise, I probably would have forgotten my whole line. <laughs> Another custard for... <laughs> okay, I can do it. I can do a tongue twister. I can do it. Thanks for the ride, man. I want you to drive me every day. Keep this money exit. keep this money flow coming and I will. Sorry. We're sitting here awkwardly. You guys are all looking at me like I'm supposed to do something here. I don't know what it is. I think he made it. He's Christian, he gave his life, but he still ain't satisfied in the Savior Christ. <laughs> Thanks.
Oh, that's my line, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whose line is it?